Hello. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Good. How are you? Doing good. I like your shirt. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's like a fruit salad. Hey, this is Dayglow, and you're listening to WRSU FM New Brunswick, the home of Rutgers Radio. You just released your uh, single something last week mm -hmm. and getting ready to release uh, Harmony House, second album on the 21st. Very exciting. Yeah. That's awesome, man. You must be, it must be crazy having so much going on right now for you. Oh, it's insane. Um, yeah, I am so, so busy. Um, but it's, it's exciting. It's really fun. Um, but I, I recently got engaged and I'm like planning a wedding and I'm like moving and I'm like, um, get, like releasing an album and everything's happening. So um, we're, we're rocking okay. and rolling for sure. Yeah, congratulations. I did not know that you just got engaged, but that's, that's also very exciting. Yeah, wow. thank you. Since you're releasing the second album, run me through what, what it means to you. Like, what's your relationship to this album? Sure. Um, well, I released Fuzzy Brain um, about three years ago. Um, in the recordings, I was either 17 or 18. So it's a pretty adolescent um, album in comparison, at least in my mind, to this one. Mm. Um, so it's just kind of a lot of growth. Um, I released Fuzzy Brain completely independently to not really an audience at all. And this one's released with a lot more pressure because everything just happened so quick yeah, sure. um, and only having 10 songs um, in my catalog, a lot has happened. So there's just a lot of pressure, but good pressure. Um, but yeah, it's just mostly kind of about growing up, um, dealing with fame and attention because um, that was all just really new to me and shocking. Um, but yeah, I'm stoked to, to share it. What I've been wondering is, is it going to be kind of an extension of Fuzzy Brain? Like you're trying to add more to what you're saying or is it more like what you were saying before? Like you're more grown up now, you have more experience. Like it's kind of going to be something different, right? Definitely. I would definitely say so. Yeah. The interesting thing about my music is I write and produce it all myself so technically speaking it could be an extension of fuzzy brain because each album i make i'm just like my older version of myself so i think there's pretty obvious signs of maturity um but i think my writing style has changed in some ways um most of my production style i would say has changed um but in my opinion there's just a lot more um weight to the lyrics of this album a lot more personal um but yeah we'll have to see so is it, is it going to be a personal album like is it is it songs like like you feel very close to or are you just like writing music because you think it's good music a little bit of both um mm -hmm. i mean i usually start songs just like with an instrumental and my main focus is musically i want um the listener to feel X emotion. Usually that's um, a good feeling. I want people to have a good feeling and internalize um, optimism in themselves after they listen to my music. Uh, but this album specifically, a lot more than Fuzzy Brain, I think I just was really intentional um, and just had stuff to write about. Um, because with Fuzzy Brain, I mean, I definitely had a lot to write about, but it didn't feel like it. Like it just kind of felt like I was in high school and um, I still by no means know it. Like I have no idea what I'm doing, um, but it feels like I had this thing happen. It's like, oh, like I have something really to write about here. Yeah. Um, so I just felt more honest. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I really can't imagine because I'm 20 and I know you're 21. So I yeah. can't even imagine like being like a year from now, having accomplished all that you've accomplished. That's crazy. Yeah, it's weird, man. I don't <laughs> know. It's, it's strange, but. So you were saying that you're trying to invoke like um, like a certain feeling in others when you're when they listen to your music. Do you think do you have a a feeling as a whole that you want people to feel when they listen to the album, or is it just song by song, like you're trying to get people to feel something different? A little bit of both. Um, I think at each song definitely serves its own purpose, 
but I think the album, I, I love cohesive albums. And when you can listen to one album and think the overall theme was this. And so with Fuzzy Brain, I think the overall theme was like dealing with um, the anxieties of knowing you're going to grow up soon and kind of like waiting to leave high school. Um, mm -hmm. Each song kind of served a different purpose, but you can just see that. So I think with Harmony House, people are going to realize um, like, like I've just kind of been forced to grow up really quick. And okay. so there's pros and cons of that. Um, it's really awesome sometimes, but it's kind of also like heartbreaking a little bit that um, I have gone through so much. Um, amazing things, like every day I have good news, but um, as odd as it sounds, it's kind of like draining. Um, but um, anyways, um, I don't know, we'll have to see, we'll have to see. It's always up to the listener, but I hope people just kind of realize that I've grown up a little bit, you know. Yeah. Well, you can definitely see it in um, Close to You and something that you've just released. Like you definitely, well, for me at least, you definitely get like a different vibe. Thank you. Like, I don't want to say it's like more professional because your music is always fantastic, but it just gets you like, wow, like it makes you feel something when you listen to the songs. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it definitely is more professional because um, it is my profession now um, <laughs> where it was, you know, I mean, I'm still making it in a bedroom, but um yeah, I don't know. I, I had a lot of people help me with the videos and stuff, which is really fun. Is Close to You and Something, are they personal songs? Like you've written something about yourself or is it more just like ideas or um, feelings that you're trying to put into music? I try to approach every song with a fair share of both. Um, mm -hmm. I, I definitely have personal attachment to both of the songs and personal experience that I internalize um, and think about, but I try to make the songs vague enough for the listener to feel immediately their personal experience as well. Um, so for Close to You, it was kind of this like idea of feeling social anxiety at a party, um, which I've had a fair share of. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of like it, internalizing that and putting a narrative to it. Um, and then making it like danceable. I think that's the greatest thing if you can make music ironic um, because it's like these lyrics are kind of like, oh man, it's kind of sad, but the yeah. music is so happy. Um, but with something that's more of like a pretty direct, um, direct statement because I, I try to make my songs, um, I like the idea when songs are directed to the listener. Um, mm. I, I listen to a lot of like 80s and 70s pop and a lot of songs, um, the narrative is like we, like we are the world, you know, like that kind of thing or like you. And a lot of songs nowadays are like I, I, I. Mm. And um, with something, I wanted it to be a direct statement to the listener to make them reflect because I was kind of going through that. Um, but it's just kind of about social media and materialism and that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's very cool. One of the lyrics that really struck me with something was, I wrote it down because I didn't want to mess it up. It was, tell me if what makes you someone is something, then why can't I have mine? And so is that more of like a personal statement for you? Like you feel like you're missing that something or it's just like more of what you're saying, like you're trying to make it relatable to other people? I think it's more of just a statement about what I see in pop culture right now. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, definitely any sort of flaw, I think pretty much every human experience is the same thing. So I can't like point uh, my finger and be like, you're messed up in this way. Because it's like, I'm, I have my own problems. Everybody does. Mm -hmm. um, but just the sense of um, stuff fulfilling us, um, you know, is kind of the statement. You just really see that more and more where like, you know, ever since like uh, advertising and marketing rise it's just like our identity is like in getting new stuff yeah. um and it's just getting crazy it seems like you know there's like like so many uh fashion cycles or something i was i was reading this article about like yeah like fast fashion it's just crazy there's crazy stuff stuff always coming and going that's how it is yeah always 
So for this album, is is what you're trying to get more of like the the like Daglo music, like the stuff that you can dance to, but it's also has that deeper meaning. Is all of it going to be like that Daglo music, or can we expect different genres or styles, if you know what I mean, in the new album? Definitely, I would hope so that people see it that way, uh, because I really intentionally tried to make this album really diverse um, and really show a statement throughout the whole album of what I've been listening to for the past three years. Um, Cause I went through like a really big, like um, Carpenters and like Billy Joel phase, just like these seventies like, piano ballads kind of mm -hmm. thing. Um, and like Bruce Hornsby, I was listening to a lot of that, like, um, you know, like a MIDI piano sound just from the eighties. Um, and so there's a little bit of that, um, a lot of like synth pop. And so, yeah, I just want my albums to be diverse. It's kind of like a full on statement of Sloan in these years of his life. So for Fuzzy Brain, um, it's kind of the same way. There's kind of like two sides of the album, you know, where you have like Junior Varsity and Dear Friend, um, which aren't like really danceable, but then the other side's kind of like Hot Rod. And that just, to me, is a reflection of like that time of my life because both happened and both are totally true. And so for this album, there's definitely a fair share of like, um, you know, some moments that are like a lot more melancholy and introspective, but then there's also just like fun danceable songs. Time won't take nothing, believe me, it's you that takes the time. Tell me if what makes you someone is something, then why can't I have mine? I've waited so long. What I've been wondering as I've been preparing these questions, do you have a lot of stuff that you've been writing that doesn't make it onto the album, like demos or recorded tracks? You're like, oh, I can't really put this in, but I still like like it and I want to like yeah. listen to it? Yeah, definitely. Um, considering, especially since Fuzzy Brain, I mean, I've written a lot of songs and I, because I write and produce and the way in which I do that, um, it just allows a lot of songs to go unfinished. Yeah. Um, so I have countless files of just unfinished songs and melodies and things like that. Um, and I plan already actually on maybe um, releasing like some of those down the line kind of as like an inside of like other songs I was seeing in the directions I could have gone. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, I've the track list of Harmony House is 11 songs mm -hmm. and um, I wrote a lot of songs in that time. I probably wrote like 25 for sure. Like these are going to be on the album songs. Mm -hmm. And then I just had to chip away. Uh, another thing that I've been wondering about is since the blow up of Fuzzy Brain and all the attention you've been getting, how has it been since the pandemic hit? Like not being able to interact with the, with your fans the way you would have liked to. Yeah, it's it's been really... Um, there's pros and cons. I mean, it, it's like the, my, one of my theories in life is that there's just no such thing as what ifs, you know, it's like, I always think like, what if like there wasn't pandemic, but it just isn't, it just happened. And it's just like, we're in the middle of it. We kind of got to work with what we we've, we've been given. And um, it's really strange that on my first tour, it immediately sold out and then it immediately got canceled. So I didn't get to play any shows. So it's like, um, I'm really excited for when I get to play shows, but um, it's just made it a strange story. And it's kind of like, kind of cool that I can tell my grandkids one day, like I had a fully sold out US tour that never existed. Like how trippy is that? Um, so yeah, I think it's just like, you know, you gotta, take it for what it is but it's definitely a bummer some days but also I'm really thankful that I've had this time to reflect and things have still been like going viral um, yeah. technically um, but this situation allows me to like at least for a couple hours like distance myself from it um, because this year likely would have been just insanely busy and um, I don't know. I, I'm sure I would have been a much different person. But we will we'll never know because exactly. there's we'll never know. Yeah. <laughs>
no, of, of course, especially with all that you have going on right now, it would be hard to imagine like being on tour right now on top of everything that you have going on. So that's, yeah, it works out the way it does. Mm -hmm. Have you been thinking about what you're going to do once Harmony House is released in terms of like putting stuff out, interacting with your fans, getting to talk to people and stuff like that? Definitely, yeah. So there, there's a couple plans in the books about um, things and content that we'll be making, um, which hopefully I can announce that kind of stuff soon. But mm -hmm. as far as shows, um, from what I've heard, it's looking like like people are all mutually agreeing pretty much everywhere around the U.S. that like after this summer or like late summer, people mm -hmm. are just gonna like start going. Like I'm sure you've seen like festivals or like yeah. announcing like, yep, yeah, we're going, no anything. It's just like, it's, it kind of makes me like, like what, what even happened just now? Like what yeah. was last year? If we're just like going, but I don't know. Um, it's, it's crazy, but hopefully you can start playing shows because I'm excited to meet everyone. It's gonna be yeah. awesome. If I would, if it was a year ago and I was interviewing about Fuzzy Brain, I would ask, okay, is this what you're going to stick with? Like, this is what you're doing. But now that you're releasing a second album, this is what you're pretty much set in. Is this like the plan for now to be Dayglo? Good question. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I it's it's a constant paradox because I really want Dayglow to be personal and I want it to be obvious that these are songs that Sloan Struble is writing um, and like things that I'm making personally, but I also still view it totally and completely as an outlet um, for myself to create. Um, cause I love to make like a lot of stuff. Like I love to build things and I love to like make videos and, um, I don't know. I just like love to make stuff and day glow right now. And I think for the next handful of years is a really great opportunity and outlet to do that. Um, but you know, I'd love to eventually start collaborating with people, um, and producing with other people. And I don't know, just kind of creating like this world of art. Um, but I, the way it's set up with Dayglo, it's kind of like, if I were to do that, then it's like, um, like Sloan is working with someone else. Sloan, who is Dayglo, is working with someone. It's not like Dayglo collaborated with. I mean, I'm sure people would say that, but the way I look at it, it's kind of just like an outlet. Do you see Dayglo evolving at all, like into different genres or different kinds of music, or is it just you're going to evolve at some point? Like, I don't want to harp on it too much, but I'm just, I'm just curious. Yeah, sure. Um, I think definitely Dayglow is a statement of who I am at the time and what I'm listening to. Mm -hmm. And since I'm so young, um, a lot of my musical tastes have changed since high school. I mean, I'm sure the same goes for you. It's kind of, you just like listen yeah. to new music at, at this age and it's really exciting. Um, and since I produce my own music, I'm learning new techniques every time I make a new song. Um, so I think definitely just naturally it will progress and each album will be pretty dramatically different. Um, but I love that. I, I think, you know, no, nobody wants really at the bottom of their heart for an artist to like make the same album each time. Yeah, of course. Um, but anytime an artist like releases a new album that like sounds different people are like no like they changed yeah but then it takes them a couple months and then they're like oh this is way better yeah, so hopefully is. that hopefully that happens i've seen that a little bit with something because that was a pretty different song yeah. um but we'll have to see awesome very cool lots to look forward to yeah man well um i appreciate you talking with me today i really appreciate that you did this interview oh of course it's fun